My name is Adel Khan Farouk. I'm making a documentary about Norwegian Islamists. While filming for his documentary, Recruiting for Jihad, Adel Farouk gained access to a radicalized Islamic community throughout Europe through Islamist Ubaidullah Hussein. <laughs> Everyone can hear me, inshallah? In these days, when we are living in Denmark, Sweden, Norway, UK, etc., we have to defend Islam with our life and death. Farouk wanted to learn what was behind the radicalization of people like Ubaidullah Hussein. It's not, it's not in only in, in Norway, it's in Sweden as well, Denmark, UK, uh, France, uh, Belgium. You always find a small minority of people who don't fit in. Uh, as, even as Muslims, they don't fit in, uh, they're marginalized, they uh, might struggle or have some struggles at home, uh, hard time finding uh, work. My name is Ubaidullah Hussein and I am spokesman for the group Prophet Ummah, Prophet Ummah in okay. uh, Norway. And I want to find out why he became that way, why he did he become so extreme, because there were some pieces of him that he used to be a referee in soccer uh, and that he was a, a bright child. And, did okay uh, in school. During an underground meeting with British Islamist Anjem Chowdhury, Farouk captured chilling footage of how radicalized ideology spreads. In 2015, Islamic extremists waged a series of attacks in Paris, first against the French satirical magazine Charlie Hebdo, and months later at a concert hall and football stadium, killing 130 people and injuring 368. Farouk says Ubaidullah Hussein told him on camera that he does not know the attackers in Paris, but he knows people who know them. These my uh, groups are really small, but they are strong because they they work together. They they either uh, visit each other, have like some call of sessions, where uh, call it a seminar of some sort. Ubaidullah's recruitment of a young Norwegian brought him to the attention of police. He gets arrested, and Norwegian police forces confiscated Farouk's and Rolfsen's footage as evidence. The filmmaker's fight for freedom of the press became a story in and of itself. Ulrich Rolfsen and Adel Farouk took their case all the way to Norway's Supreme Court. They won. The key issue is that for any democracy, it is very, very vital that journalists and media are uh, separated from authorities. My power is to tell stories and expose uh, societies or things that happen in society um, to educate the, the public. And I think it's important that we, we don't step on each other's toes. To the open-ended question whether such a documentary can fuel fear and mistrust against Muslims, Farouk responded that he wanted to reveal how these cells operate on the fringes of society. That was very important uh, to both me and to me and, uh, and Ulrich. Uh, because most of the Muslims are not like him or like these guys. They're normal people. Penelope Pulu, VOA News, Washington.